Alright, hi everybody. Um, today we're going to be making a Ellie badge. So here's the badge and here's what it's going to look like. And then uh, the reason why is because I got this uh, this badge at Disneyland while I was at Disneyland. And I thought it was kind of lame because it's, I don't know, it's not really like how it is in the movie. I thought Disney could have done a better job. But I guess it's a lot easier to mold one piece of metal instead of making it like a two-parter in assembly. But anyway, so I wanted to make a Ellie badge that was exactly Okay, so this is basically everything that you're going to need. You're going to need Mod Podge, which is uh, a glue, an adhesive, diamond glaze, and a hammer. Uh, you're going to need a little nail. So what I got is uh, sort of like the little kit that you get from when you uh, frame a picture. These are like the perfect nails to be using. Um, safety pins. Uh, these are a really good size. These are the size 3, the 2 inch ones. And then you're going to need uh, bottle caps. Um, I got BJ bottles because um, they're already a, a silver color rather than having to spray paint them so you have that natural sort of sheen to that. Um, also I didn't go out and buy the plain bottle caps that you can find in craft stores because it just doesn't have that natural bottle like feature. Um, I find them to be sort of fake and too thin. Uh, it's really shallow and I just, I don't know, they just don't seem like real bottle caps. And then you're gonna need a, a paintbrush and then these are jeweler pliers. Uh, they use this. This is a flat one, and then this is a rounded one. And then, of course, you're gonna need a piece of wood to be uh, hammering into. Uh, I forgot to mention a couple things that you might need, which is a sharpie pen, and also you're gonna actually need the template for the badges. So I found uh, mine on what is it? Jen's own road blog spot. Uh, her blog. Um, I just looked at it today and it looks like she hasn't updated it in two years but hopefully I'll be able to find it and uh, be able to post it and post a link in the description box. Um, otherwise I'm sure there are other templates or PDFs where you can find the Ellie badge um, so that you can make the badges. And also a uh, small filing set so but you'll see how I use them uh, later on. So, um, the first thing that you're going to be doing is going to be taking a bottle cap and taking one of your clothespins and just seeing where to make the holes in them so that the pin can uh, slide on it. So what I do is that I take the pen and then I just eyeball about where I want to put it. So I think this kind of looks good. So I made a little mark um, with my pen right here. And another one right here, just to give me an estimation of where to do my nail. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and take your nail. I took my nail that's out of it. And um, you're going to go ahead and find your spot right here. So I'm going to... I think it's right here. Um, and just kind of put it at an angle so that you can hammer it in. Um, I'm going to actually do this off camera because I don't think I'm coordinated enough. But... Um, the important thing to remember is to make sure that the nail, or that the bottle cap goes through the nail, no, other way around. The nail goes through the bottle cap um, past the tip because you want to make sure that you have enough room so that the safety pin can go through. So I'm going to go ahead and hammer it out and I will be back and show you guys um, the next step. Alright, so I just finished hammering and I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, where's that the hole? Um, right here, you can see it's a little bit too close, but I might just be able to get by. Um, if you noticed after you hammered it, there's like uh, sharp sharp edges. Um, it's okay. I mean, you can put it on the pin and it'll be okay, but if it really bothers you, you can take a, a little file that you have and just uh, file it off. Like that. An upward motion away from your body. Or you can put a downward motion, but just stick with one motion and just keep on doing that. Um, 
But after you finish doing your nails and your or you make your holes, um, you want to check your work. So you take an open clothespin and you uh, try and see if you could stick them through, and it sticks through with no problem. nice and loose and it's not a lot of tension to get it through. So I'm going to go ahead and file these off and then the next step will be to uh, actually glue on the actual LE badge part. Right. Um, so I've sanded off the edges or filed off the edges just a little bit um, just so it doesn't have that rough and rough texture over here. Uh, I forgot to mention that if it's hard to cut or if it's hard to get the nail or start nail or hammering, just use the flat the flat pliers and just sort of flatten your area that you need to do that you want to put your nail through. And it helps just a little bit. It helps me anyway. Um, but you may not be as challenged as I am. Um, so the next step is to get cut out an Ellie badge and just take your Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a really good glue. It's used for people, I guess, use it to glue puzzles together. It says it's non-toxic and non-flammable, uh, but if you open it, it smells pretty bad and I would not do it in an enclosed area. Do it in an open area with a nice ventilation. And it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to dry, which isn't a problem. You can be doing some other thing. Um, so just go ahead, give it a quick shake, and then open it up. And really, you don't need a lot, so you could actually just open it up, um, take the cap off. Uh, go ahead and dip your paintbrush in. And you're going to go ahead and apply a light coat. To the back of and it. And then um, make sure that you have your badge the right side. Um, so mine's off a little bit, a little off center for where I put the holes. So I want to make sure that I get it on just right. And hopefully you guys can see this. Zoom in a little bit. And go ahead and just stick it on there. Then just slightly press it down. Yeah. It looks about right. If it's a little off center, it's no big deal. Alright, so then um, another option you can do is you could just do another, um, you could do a coat over it, which isn't going to hurt it because you're going to be putting the diamond glaze, which is uh, a gloss, a, also a glaze to make it glossy. Um, I don't know, but if you just mistakenly get some Mod Podge on there and you can just go ahead and put another coat on it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going to show you a, I guess a, you don't have to do it, but just something that I think is nice to do. So after you put the diamond glaze on, let it dry, whatnot, you can go ahead and take a safety pin and just put it on here, and then bam, you're done, you have your LA badge. But in the actual movie, they have it um, where it's on this side. So what you're gonna do uh, with the pliers is that you're gonna undo it and then remake, uh, undo this so it's like a straight edge and then stick your LA badge on and then you're going to re rewrap it, rewrap the wire, um, which I'll show you to do after I put the diamond glaze on just so that uh, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, and you don't have to watch the video, or the second of the video. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be using the uh, diamond glaze uh, just to give it sort of like a raised, glossy look. And um, you don't need to shake it or anything. 
and it doesn't have like a really bad smell or anything like that. Um, so let's just go ahead and try this. So um, you just got the tip and then you just squeeze very slowly. Okay, so on to um, unwrap these, you're gonna undo the clip. You're gonna take your flat nose wire, your pliers, and you're just gonna bend. Um, now, I was always afraid of these because I think, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, my grandma, she used to make me costumes for Halloween, and I think she might have poked me and traumatized me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just scared. I don't know. Um, so the first one is okay, it's not too hard to get, but you also have to get this other loop. Okay. So, um, this should be pretty good to get it on to. It's okay if you have like a little bump. Um, so then you just slide it on, uh, after your, the diamond glaze has dried, of course. Then you would take these pliers, um, and just wrap it around. But I'll show you that in a little bit. Alright, so now that you've straightened out your safety pin, you're going to take uh, one of your bottle caps and you're just going to go ahead and slide it in. And if you did it correctly, or if you straightened out your clothespin enough, should go right through. So now that you have it like this, uh, it's kind of crooked, but it's okay. Um, you're going to take your rounded, uh, round-headed pliers and you're going to wrap it around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the angle camera because it's going to be really hard for me to do this with the camera in front of me. Um, so yeah. 